I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about calculus and polar coordinates. In problem number 41, we'd like to find the area of the region bounded by the curves r equals 3 sine theta and r equals 3 cosine of theta. So first thing I want to do is let's just draw the picture and see what this region looks like. Uh, r equals 3 sine theta is a circle of diameter 3 sitting on top of the x-axis and tangent to the x-axis. So let me draw that. So this would be up at 3. And then r equals 3 cosine theta is the same thing except this one's tangent to the y-axis sitting out here. So let me draw that. So that's out at 3. And so the region that I'm talking about is the region that's trapped by both of those curves, which is this region right in here. Okay. So this is the region that I would like to find the area of. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this down. I'm going to cut this region in half. And I see right off the bat, if I draw a line through these two points, that this is a symmetric region. So instead of trying to find this whole area, what I could do is just find half of that area and double it. So what I'm going to do is instead of finding this whole area, I'll just find the area of this bottom half. And the reason that I, the reason that I only want to find the area of the bottom half down here is because if I'm starting at the origin and I draw a ray out anywhere on that region, all I'm dealing with is the curve r equals 3 sine of theta. The r equals 3 cosine of theta, it doesn't matter at all. I'm just dealing with the first curve. So I can integrate this. This starts at 0 and I keep integrating until I get to exactly pi over 4. If that's not clear, set 3 cosine theta equal 3 sine theta, and you get that theta would have to be equal to pi over 4. So I'm going to integrate this thing from 0 to pi over 4, and then double it. All right, so the area of the region I'm looking for is I'm going to double integrating from 0 to pi over 4 of 1 half of r, but in this case the only function I'm dealing with is this upper circle, which is r equals 3 sine theta. So this is 3 sine theta quantity squared d theta. All right. Again, I have the 2 on the outside, the 1 half on the inside. They cancel, and so I can rewrite this area as integral from 0 to pi over 4 of, if I square the 3, I get 9, sine squared theta d theta. I can pull the 9 outside of the integral because it's a constant, and then I can replace sine squared theta with its half angle identity form. So let's do that right now. So I'm going to rewrite this. I'll pull the 9 outside the integral, and I get integral from 0 to pi over 4 of 1 minus cosine of 2 theta over 2 d theta. So I just replace sine squared of theta by 1 minus cosine of 2 theta over 2, which is a half angle identity. Okay, I could pull this 2 out and just make this 9 halves. Let's do it. So I have 9 halves on the outside, integral from 0 to pi over 4 of 1 minus cosine of 2 theta d theta. All right, now we're ready to take an antiderivative. So let's move over to this side. So I still have my 9 halves. So I have 9 halves. Uh, and then I take an antiderivative of 1, and I get theta. 
I take an antiderivative of negative cosine of 2 theta, and I get negative sine of 2 theta over uh, 2 evaluated from 0 to pi over 4. All right, I get a 9 halves. Uh, now let's plug things in. If I plug in for theta here, I'm plugging in pi over 4, and I get pi over 4, minus, if I plug in pi over 4 here, I get 2 times pi over 4. 2 times pi over 4 is pi over 2. Sine of pi over 2 is 1. So this is 1 over 2. So I get minus a half. All right. Minus, plug in 0, I get 0. Minus, plug in 0, I get sine of 0, which is 0. And we're done. So let's just multiply this through to see what we get. If I multiply this through, I get 9 pi over 2 times 4, which is 8. So 9 pi over 8. And if I multiply through here, I get 9 on top and a 4 on the bottom. So I end up with 9 pi over 8 minus 9 fourths would be the answer for uh, what is the area trapped between these two circles.